Marcus Brown is one of the biggest tech YouTubers of all time with over 16 million followers gained in over 14 years. I gone through his Skillshare course, watched a lot of YouTube videos, plus many interviews with him. I managed to uncover five productivity secrets that both you and I can implement today to be as productive as Marcus Brownlee. The first one is make videos for yourself. The number one goal I have for this MKBHD channel here on YouTube is to upload videos that I would want to watch. I know it's quite a controversial one out there since there's a lot of talk focusing on think about your audience and don't be in your own bubble. But I think he's touching on a fundamental point which is that if you want to watch it, you have your own preferences what you want to watch. Because the world is so big, there are a lot of people who want the same as you. Plus you also know what you want. That's the first step in productivity. The second productivity tactic is writing stuff down. I live in three apps mm -hmm. and without them I would be a useless shell of a human. This incessant urge that he's talking about is one of the key ways to stay offloaded so to speak. It's essential if you want to operate at higher and higher levels and grow while at the same time know what you're doing. And because he's involved in the latest tech he's used a lot of apps like for instance Google Keep and Tick Tick and so forth. The third one is his non-neediness. So it doesn't feel like like there's like people ask about rivals and like who would you box like I, we're all pretty chill it's pretty cool if you checked out many of his videos throughout the years you will see that he's sort of the same but also very calm you wouldn't expect him to be absolutely enraged or overly excited so to speak he's very even keeled called that one theory that i do have is that he's not necessarily the star of his show the tech is so that removes a lot of pressure from himself. He doesn't need to innovate as much because tech is innovating for him. Of course, he's innovating with robot arms and stuff like that, but it's not this pressure that somewhat unconsciously made people somewhat needy called to that. And because he's not dealing with emotional fluctuations, he can stay the course, which is clearly has done from 2009. The fourth one is realism. My main goal, as far as video quality goes, is to make as realistic of a looking video as possible. And of course that's a lot of his style, but the reason why I put it as a productivity tactic is that when you're going for realism, you want to get the sense of the real world. And when you get the sense of the real world, you know what to do about it. You're not in your own delusion, your own fantasy world, call it that. You're operating with the real feedback, call it good or bad. And because his job is to document the latest features, of course you have this attention to detail and don't shy away from what is. The fifth and last one is his frisbee career. If you don't know, he's an ultimate frisbee champion. And you might argue that because he's split on two things that he will be more productive if you focus on one and I think in this case it's a notable exception because these are synergistic. When he's reviewing tech videos or making YouTube videos he's not exercising his body too much but when he's out in the field his body is definitely way more awake and moving so exercise is very valuable for productivity if you didn't know. So these were all five productivity tactics and let me know in the comment which one was your favorite and if you're a very big fan of Marcus Brownlee too and I certainly encourage you to subscribe. I'll see you in this video right here here where I talk about another prominent tech YouTuber and always remember that you're the most amazing being alive.